Okay. You know the amount of people who've been commenting on my photos saying Stinky Lou? Like going back on old photos and commenting going Stinky Lou. <laughs> Mate, I put a video out yesterday. Oh, we, have we started? Okay. Should we start? Have we started? We can start with that. Everyone already knows I'm Stinky Lou. So, as you were, kind sir. Well, I just, I did a video yesterday and because I was playing both characters in the video, all the comments are just like, two chinless blokes trying to get a fucking... A head in life. Is that like the one where you pretended to be the dad? And you go, you up. Mo- uh, morning dick, dick breath. breath. <laughs> <laughs> Me and 10 day date were watching that and both like pissed ourselves at the um, dick breath part. Yeah, the dick breath. I just thought that was fun. The, do you want to know where that came from? Obviously, I've been in Yamba for a week. Yes. Had a, a little you had a family trip. Little you, family had a little, trip. you made a little pet, didn't you? A little frog. Oh, yeah. What did you name him? Kevin too? Frederick. Oh. Frederick the Frog. Kevin. No, it was it was Gary the Green Tree Frog. <clears throat> yeah. Or Kevin. Two. No, it was actually Kevin t- uh, t- Kevin too. No, it, 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 I was in yeah, it was fucking grouse. But it's like so mum and dad go get up and they go for a walk along the beach every morning. Cute. <coughs> right? I'd join them if I was there. Well, actually maybe not. That feels like it's their time. That, no, no, no. They want you they want everyone to come. Oh, well I'll come next time. If if you invite me to Yampa. Sorry. Yeah. No, you can come on a Yampa, Yampa family holiday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe. You maybe could, maybe one day. It actually wouldn't be that weird. No, that's what I was gonna say. Maybe um, Kevin. Well <laughs> yeah. Gary. Lou's currently sitting with Kevin Bedwetter. She's had a big little weekend and she's a little bit crook. Yeah. Um, anyhow, kick. fucking, they go walking every every morning. They they walk on this dog beach, walk to this rock, touch the rock and then come back. And that's the oh, ritual. Oh, so they tap like people do in North Bondi. You know, and you get to the end and you tap your foot. Mm-mm. Yes. I don't know Are that. Are you a true eastern suburb Sydney slider? No, don't. You don't tap when you do the walk? I don't, don't do I've done, I've done, I've another walk. You know where like North Bondi RSL is and like North Bondi Fish? Yes. And you go all the way down the end and it's a dead end and there's like a like a roped off area, like a like a fence, but it's like metal. No. It's like a metal fence. What do you call it, Willie? Like a, would that be a fence? Yeah, that'd be a fence. Yeah, a metal fence. And you tap it. You tap it with your foot. And then you, you walk back the other way. Wow. <laughs> well, see, they tap a rock. So I was just adding to the conversation that people in the eastern suburbs tap the tap the metal. Uh, bloody, if you're living in the eastern suburbs, I think you're doing more tapping of your car than anything. <laughs> bloody expensive. Tapping of your card. Mm. Everything's bloody expensive. You said car. And I thought, that's illegal to tap someone it, in your car. It did car. sound like I said car. Yeah, you can't just tap someone in your car. Anyway, so they tap the rock and they come back. <laughs> they come back. So sorry. <laughs> and they try and get us on the walk. So every fucking morning, and just the way that, the way that, I don't know if this is just fucking country fathers or whether this is just Australian fathers in general or how the fuck does Franco wake you up in the morning? Well... If you go back home and he's to wake you up, how would he do it? I, I have this vivid memory of him coming in, opening all my windows and going, it stinks like a bloody brewery in here, Luke. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, let me sleep. Steph is bewildered by the way that the dad will wake, wake one up in the morning. Mm. He will literally... He will literally <laughs> pretty much kick the fucking door down and then just yell at you. Before you can even comprehend what the fuck's going on. He's like, man, your mother going for a walk, mate. You're going to bloody come. We'll get a coffee afterwards if you like him. You're waking up. So he, he knows that you're probably dead asleep. Yeah, no, 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 he does. But it's not like, morning, mate. Hey, me and your mother are going to dig up. Did you want to come this morning? He's screaming. It, I remember I had the uh, Walker Rugby Prezos. And we had a big night. I got in at about 6 in the morning. 5.30, 6 in the morning. My flight... I had to get up at about nine to catch a flight back to Sydney. And I distinctly remember dad waking me up. And I was obviously so fucked from how big a night it was that I, when I woke up, I've just got this man yelling at me. I can't even hear the words that he's saying. And I couldn't even remember where I was. Cause it was like, ah! I flew in like the night before, did the Prezos huge night, woke up there. Then I was flying out the next day. So I was in and out. And I just remember, not been able to hear anything he's saying. Just had this bloke yelling at me. And I was going, Loud the- noises! I was going, where the fuck? Where am I? Like, I couldn't 
my cogs couldn't turn mm. enough to let me know where I was. It's such an aggressive fucking way to wake up. Hence why, after a week of being on holidays with him, that was the video that came out of it. Please, madame, ask a question. Now, did you ever go on the morning walk? <laughs> nah. Oh, that fucks me off. You're a piece of shit. That seems... You're a, you're a big old turd. Run me through that. You, that is just... You are a cruel, cruel son. Why? All they want is to go for a nice skip and a hop, touch the rock with their son, and you've just decided to lay in bed like the lazy piece of shit you are. Yeah, it's also my holiday as well. Yeah, just once. No. Nah. You were there, what, seven days? Out of yeah, all dude. seven days, you couldn't do one hot girl lap with your mum and dad? Uh, yeah, and oh, then what, Look, what? I'd just like to do a public service announcement to your parents. I am... I don't know which camera to look at because there's about 12 of them. Thank you, Willie, there's, that there's, one. There's three. I am absolutely <laughs> appalled that Jack Edward Archdale Took her a while to remember my name. <laughs> I was confused whether it was Jack or Jake at this point. <laughs> I'm half asleep. Jared. Um, Jared. I'm so sorry that your son, Jared, did not come on one walk with you. And they didn't – he they he didn't tap the, the, the rock with you. And I'm just – I profoundly apologise on she's his learning, behalf. She's learning. Someone said profoundly in the last couple of days. That's a new one. I profusely apologise oh, for my go. friend and my co-host and my confidant. <laughs> my confidant. <laughs> she's been taking French lessons. Hey, listen. Uh, I then proceeded to spend the whole fucking day with my family doing a myriad of activities. There you go, myriad. Yeah. Now, don't right. use that, please. Note to self, Kevin, write that one down. Myriad. Myriad. Uh, so if I did miss out on the walk, we'd then go crabbing together. We'd go yeah, fishing. It's, it's, we'd fucking. We, we'd go. I take you them out for lunch. Morning. I He's take them for dinner. And yelled in your face for a purpose, for a myriad of reasons. <laughs> <laughs> he would like you to go for a walk. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to, mate. Well, do you know? Hey, hey. You know what? The world doesn't revolve around you. Correct. It doesn't. So go but for I'm, the walk next time, nah, please. No, make it up in other ways. <laughs> you know, because the be be you know that I'm not a big beach guy. You hate sand. You're a little bit Not a sand. Baby. And like getting up and just walking with joggers on the sand to me is fucking nightmare stuff. I know I'd get there and be in a bad mood. Also, you, you know how I see all those little dots with my eyes? Like I can't look at a white wall. That sounds like something you should go to the doctor for. I've been to a, an optometrist. <laughs> Mate. Oh, I see all those. Uh, that sounds like you might be going blind. No, it's fucked. Chieftain. It is fucked. That sounds like a myriad of white dots to me. Myriad. No, no, it's actually fucked. I've been to three op, uh, optometrists and then an ophthalmologist, and there's like, there's nothing we can do. I like that one. So if ophthalmologist. you. Ophthalmologist. Yeah, it's a I'll new be word. taking note of that one. If I look at that white wall, I can. You know those germs that go across your eyes? I can see hundreds of. It is fucking killing me. Well, I sometimes get there and I think I'm going to faint. Is that the same thing? No. Oh. I see hundreds of them every day, all day. Like, I can't lay in a park and look up at the blue sky and enjoy that anymore. It's fucking ruining my life. That sounds horrible. It is fucked, dude. Why don't you go to the doctor? I've been to the eye specialist. Yeah, but a doctor, it might be something to do with, I don't know, gut health. A myriad of gut health. <laughs> <laughs> Can I raise something with you? Is it, is it nice or bad? Cause I'm, no, I'm I know you're fragile, but... I also don't care. I think it's, I think it's nice. Well, you said you got a surprise for me. I do, but that, we, that can wait. Okay. Now, am I to believe Louisa Plee Dildon? You've gone live on Insta with the big dog? With 10 days? I thought you meant I went like live. <laughs> like, I was like, fuck, <laughs> fuck, when did I go live on Instagram? It was like 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. <laughs> um, I have. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, she's taking him live. Ten day date. But, well, this is huge. Would you like a public service announcement? PSA. <clears throat> Kevin, would you like to do the honors? No, okay, I'll do it. <clears throat> public service announcement for all the bedwitters and anyone who gives a fuck. I, Louisa Claire Delden, have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That Thank was, you. That was fucking kind of fucked. Oh. Uh, we, <laughs> Great. Hey, Willie, any chance you can cut that before 10-day no, day here? Not a chance. Well, what's his name? Well, 
I, I might just keep calling him Tinday Day for a bit longer. T- well, we got LDD and TDD. Yeah, we'll call. Let's give. Let's give him a bit of privacy for a bit. Then every time I upload him, the amount of bedwetters who are like, "Give us his name, give us his tag." <laughs> His name is TDD. It's the big LDD. We went out um, on Friday and Saturday in Melbourne. And on, I can't remember what night it was, but I shit you not, people are more excited to meet 10 Day Day than they are me. You know, like this young guy, Angus, came up and was like, And she's fucking fuming about it. I am not. (laughs) This young guy, Angus, came up and was like, oh, Lou. And then he was like, is that? Is that 10 day day? And I gave him like this massive hug and everything. I was like, okay, 10 day day is more in demand than the big dog LDD. Everyone wants TDD. Everyone wants TDD. Yeah. TDD will be getting fucking brand deals now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but yeah, I went, I went live, posted a couple of selfies with TDD. Mm. I noticed that because this, this has always been a bizarre phenomenon for me that it's a big deal when a fucking girl goes fucking mm-hmm. live. It seems a bit ridiculous to me, but there is a. F- I've noticed by knowing you that there is a full process to it. Yes, and you'll go on the close friends, couple of photos of you guys out on close friends, and then there might be like a story where they're involved, but with a group of people. You know what I mean? So it can't be picked out, but you're acknowledging that there's a human there. <laughs> yeah. It's like a testing the waters thing. You just put him in the background. And Correct. Slowly few work people his replying. Way yeah. to the camera. Few yes. people replying. Is Correct. that one TDD? Yeah. There's some. Oh, let's generate some speculation. Is that guy TDD? Is that guy TDD? There's a full marketing plan behind the yeah, hard launch. Honestly, it seems like yeah, hard launch. Mm. Women call this a hard launch. Well, the amount Soft of launch and hard launch. The Run us through it. People who are replying, being like, "Holy fuck!" Like Lou's hard launch TDD, madness. Ten day date. Um, but you know what? I had a lot of DMs about as well. Is a lot of girls saying, "Hey Lou, remember about three months ago? You said that the next person you'll hard launch will be when you're walking down the aisle." I was like, "Shit!" Uh, yeah. I did say that, didn't I? Yeah, that's Damn true. It, that's backfired on me. That has well, but like I'm allowed things. to launch him now that he's my boyfriend. Yeah, um, so LDD with the hard launch, LDD and TDD, um, huge, huge news. Yeah, a lot of upset, but fuck, I reckon the Queensland Bandit is fucking in his in his rig. That's why I'm wearing long black pants tears, today. Tears streaming down his face, aggressively masturbating. <laughs> yes, Have you noticed I'm wearing long black pants and a jumper? There's no skin for the tent. Ten- oh shit! It's Queensland Bandit. TDD's already had a word to her. Oh, fuck. Now you, no, I think you should dress a little more modestly <laughs> on the podcast. I don't need that Bandit looking at those fucking pins anymore. Now that you're mine. <laughs> uh, you know we um yeah hold on wait this is very jack archdale before i before i had a word had with me this about the way i dressed on the I'm podcast wearing, with kevin sitting on my lap yeah i just flew in from melbourne 10 day date lives in melbourne so i just woke up threw on the first thing i found on the floor i put my eye what that you just left him the night before after you in 10 day date got home <laughs> in the throes of fashion Jack, you are <laughs> sick. I had something funny to tell you. I wrote them down. Oh, here we fucking go. What no. sort of a yarn is this going to be? No. Cook some more snacks, did you, no. kid? No. Uh, buddy? <laughs> eh? well, that Whip was... up a steak on the weekend, did we? No three sausages for me, but we did. Just the one now. We <laughs> <laughs> Locked it down. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, just one pork and fennel for me. <laughs> Sorry. Pork and fanny sausage. I hope he doesn't smell the same. <laughs> Sorry, Jake, did you say pork and fanny? I don't think so. <laughs> You're sick. I fucking hate that word. Um, Sorry, same. continue. So we, we, we went out on Friday night, had a dinner at this beautiful restaurant called Entrecot, <coughs> French restaurant, and then we woke up Saturday, but... Dusty, so we were like, let's go out for breakfast. <laughs> we, we we just like piss ourselves laughing when we're together, like just a good giggle all the time, you know. And we went out for brunch, and we were like, let's have an aperol, like you know, let's have an aperol. And then we proceeded to stop off after brunch at we saw another pub in Melbourne. They got a lot of pubs with outdoor seating, kind of like London. And we were like, let's stop there and have like a margarita or something, you know. <laughs> And then we just sort of kept 
bar hopping our way down Chapel Street. You know how long Chapel Street is in Melbourne? One of the big ones, got a lot of pubs. And then True. I got a bit cheeky and got a big <laughs> bit too big for my boots and we had one of those QR codes. So then I thought, you know what would be funny if I ordered shots for us? So it's like it's like twelve thirty PM. On what day? Saturday. After we'd gone out Friday night. And what time did you get in? I don't know. It was late. Late, yeah. It was late, Jack. And, um, <laughs> or, or early, depending on how we're looking at it. It was late. Okay. And, yeah, and then we just, like, sat inside this pub for, like, three hours in these big, like, velour red seats. Just him and I just, like, pissing ourselves laughing like no one else in the pub. And then we went, hey, Willie, turn your phone off. Stop looking at Ruining my hub. story. <laughs> yeah, well, I heard it. You were googling pork and fennel sausage, <laughs> um, and then, and then anyway, we went out had dinner that night. Whatever. Next morning, we woke up. Ten day date thought it was a good idea when we woke up on the Sunday <coughs> at five thirty p.m. to book us a panic room. <laughs> I, I ju- just mate. no. Y- they sound like... Wait, 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 hold on. Do you mean... Didn't we do this? Escape room. Correct. Look, but I was panicked in but there. But it's... Use the name. Say lovey. Say what it is. Cousy, cousy. Tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. Plausible. Broccoli, broccoli. Whatever. Anyway, so we get in there and this woman's introducing the... She goes, have you guys ever done an escape room before? There you go. Yeah, what it's called. And, and we'd picked the um, spy, the FBI agent one. She goes, oh, shit, you've picked the hardest one. Bear in mind, we are absolutely fucked. And you're also Louisa Dalvin. And Yes, I'm not great at panicking or escaping at the best of times, let alone being hung over. Or just brain, like anything to do with the brain yeah. working. So she tells us, she's like, I'll give you a hint on where to start. So you walk in. This room is fucking tiny, Jack. And there's like seven different things that you've got to kind of like try and unlock yeah, yeah. to get out. And she goes, if I was you, I'd start with the record player and um, think of, like, letters or something. And we were like, okay. She goes, see you in an hour. And she closes the door and, like, locks you in. And I was just like, <sighs> I wanted to just sit down on the floor and just sit there for an hour. So then we had to, like, literally so, like, scat and tired and hung over from the weekend. That's the worst. Use our brains. This this record player, we're trying to figure out how to unlock these codes. Where I, I got to, like, four minutes left, and we, I think we'd done three of the seven. Oh, so you didn't make it? No, fuck no. There's no chance we made it. <laughs> Not a chance. Not a chance. That is fucking hilarious. And then, yeah. And no oh. offence to TDD. Mm. Real good guy. That's the worst. If, some, if someone did that. To me, it's like, get Look, fuck off, mate. We said it'd be fun doing it not hungover, but, but then there's, I've done something that you'll be very proud of me for. I watched Seinfeld. Did you? Two episodes of it. And it is phenomenal. That's great. Just an easy watch. Mate, Sonny. Just And he's hilarious. I love um Kramer. Kramer. Kramer? Kramer. He's hilarious. Mate, it's the, that's why it's renowned as the best sitcom of all time. It, I'll be, when I go home tonight, you know what I'll be putting on my TV with my feet up with Kevin on the couch with me? Just a slideshow of um, TDD while you cry and do like a tissues and stuff? Or? He's coming up on Friday. Sorry, Seinfeld. You were going for Seinfeld there. Yes. You were getting, you're watching Seinfeld. Yes. <laughs> right. I'm watching time. That's my <laughs> new thing. And I didn't realise how many seasons there are. And there's like 20 episodes. So I'm going to start from season one because 10 Day Date was explaining to me that it's a sitcom inside a sitcom. Or well. Like the pilot is like they're comedians and then they decide that they're going to start a sitcom and then that's where it starts from. And you know he's coming to Sydney and his real name's Jerry. I thought that was. What, TDD? <laughs> I thought that was his, you know, everyone has a stage his name. His name is Jerry Seinfeld. But I thought that was his name on the show. It is. Yeah, but it's his name in real life. Yeah. But most shows, are, they have a name on the show. You know, like, Elf really? Stewart. No, listen to really? me. Elf Stewart's not Elf Stewart in real life. Yeah. He's Ray Meager. Mayer. Yeah, yeah, Marga, whatever the fuck his last name is. Sorry, Elf. L- Louisa. Ah. Louisa. Oh. I, I get we. You don't so, need to. So don't you, act like I'm an idiot, Mr. Sees blue, white dots every day. You don't need to explain the concept of characters to us. 
We understand that. Well, then why are you looking What's at me like an idiot? Because most people know that Jerry Seinfeld is the most famous comedian of all time. Not if you've just seen the episodes like I have. But how have you never experienced the man Jerry Seinfeld? Well, I was getting confused with the Truman Show. <laughs> you know, I actually, I said to, oh, fuck I this. Said to 10 day fuck day. I said to him. No, she's too I early for to this him, shit. I said to him, I go, oh, this is like how people go, oh, I'm <laughs> stuck in the, you know how people go, are we on the... It's, it's, the Truman Show. Yeah, I was like, this is what they say. They go, are we on the sign for... And he was like, I think it's the end of the Truman Show. For fuck's sake. <laughs> For fuck. See how I got the mistaken. No. Truman Seinfeld. Archdale Del Din. Say love, see. Say love, Okay, you need to leave. You gotta go, buddy. Well, who's gonna do the podcast with you? Me, me and Willie will do it. Willie, what's the deal with online shopping? <laughs> well, and, and, and Kramer's real name's Cosmo. Oh, spoiler. Spoiler if you've never seen Seinfeld. Yeah, spoiler alert for a show that finished in like fucking 1999. Well, that's like when I watched Game of Thrones 10 years later and I did I, I made TikTok stories about it. Sorry, Instagram stories and everyone was like, you're 10 years late. Well, now I'm, what, 20 to Seinfeld. But let's go back to why you were so b- b- bemused, b- baffled. As to why I was saying what I was about Jerry's real name is Jerry. Because... Because most people in TV shows have characters, Jack. Yeah. Then why were you so like, oh, you're an idiot? Because it is wild. It's wild to me that you have such a, a lack of awareness of your surroundings. Wow. The fact that you wow. don't know that I'm Jerry... I'm sick and I've just got off a plane so I'm slightly jet lagged. And yeah, just a bit jet lag, sister. Yeah, well, I've yeah, come well from the fact and, that you and don't you know that can't Jerry... And you've just said I, I, I lack awareness of my surroundings. That surprised you? You got three fucking clues into a fucking escape room. Um, um, I'd like you to say one nice thing, thanks. Nah. Well, you, no, I would, and I won't continue until you do. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> that's perfect. Well, we'll just sit here then. The fact that you don't know that Jerry Seinfeld... Hey, it's like you did not know what the Princess Diaries was, you big dumb fuck. Hey, I think uh, maybe Seinfeld have more of a cultural impact than the Princess fucking Diaries. Not on my it? watch, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, you want me to spin your funny yarn about? No, another? I want my surprise, and I better. No, be- you don't. Oh, is it mean? Let me just finish. Can it I with tell you. you what I thought it was? Yeah. Because tomorrow is Valentine's Day. No. I thought you got me like a nice card, like a box of like <laughs> no, heart-shaped no. chocolates. Well, kind of. Um, once I was at a, a shindig, right? We were fucking blind. All fucking blind. Oh, shock horror. And I'd been stirring You've up got a, a mate of mine. I'd been stirring him up. Was it Ed Liston? It was his brother. Dave. Dozer, younger brother. Dozer. And I'd been stirring him up and me and him nearly had a bit of a, a one-two on the street down in the pub in the middle of Wilka. Like an actual tiff? Yeah, because I'd been stirring him up because he was uh, being drunk and silly. And so I was like, fuck, I'm just going to pick at him. Anyway, after the G-Bung races, they've got this big sit-down dinner. It's like a – used to be a black tie sort of a ball, so you all sit on long tables, sit there, blah, blah, blah. And I get positioned across from Dozer. And I'm just fucking – he is the drunkest man in New South Wales at this point, sitting there spinning fucking yarns and talking shit or whatever. So I just keep peppering him with shit, just keep peppering him. Pepper, pepper, pepper. And he sits there and he looks at me and he just goes – not on my watch. Stands up, launches himself across the whole table. <laughs> I go like this. He flies horizontally straight past me, lands face first in the dust, and scorpions <laughs> just lands face like first. Like over the table. Over the table. Well, he food. screamed. He was being there just quiet like this. And I just was peppering him and he, in his brain. He's like, nah, fuck it, I'm going for him. And he just screams, not on my watch, like a battle cry. <laughs> launches himself, completely misses me, lands face first. Legs bend over his back like a scorpion and just, he just lays there afterwards, fucked up, face on the dirt, blood. Just being like, what? No, <laughs> on my watch. <laughs> hey, what have Do you, you got? want your surprise? Yes, but what have you got, Steph, for Valentine's Day? No, nothing. Well, I suppose you're a bit different um, because you've been together for a while, so you would have done things back in the day, right? Yeah, but I just think we're both sort of not really that into it. But will you get a card or at least say... I'll probably get a card or a nice text, Happy Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'll do some. 
What did you get TDD? Nothing. Didn't you? No, I got... And chill. Oh, you're very yeah. naughty and chill. And chill. Well, I actually got him like a little present, but it was like early. So it, TDD, that was your Valentine's Day present. Okay. Seems like it's a, a holiday much more for the women than the men. Yeah, like I'd expect that he'd at least text me, you know, be my little... Don't! <laughs> Don't! <laughs> be okay, my little well, boo thing. Yeah, will you be my little boo thing? <laughs> Okay, what's my pr- – is it a nice surprise or is it mean because I'm fragile? Well, I think it's lovely. I've written you a song. Oh, oh no, this is Stinky Lou. This is Stinky oh, Lou. Oh, get absolutely <laughs> fucked. Let me prepare myself for this. You know, we're doing a video clip for this. Well, yeah, we need to get the actual – so this is to the tune of Okie Doke, the original – the song that I sang you earlier. I've just refined it and added a couple of – um. Versus. I said to TD Day, I go, ooh, Jart says he's got a pre-. like, it surprised me, and I go, I hope it's a present. It's a present in the form of a song. It is a present of sorts. Should I put my headphones on? Do you want the music in the background? I don't have the backing track, so I'm just going to have to go a cappella on this. Okay. But then we can, uh, we can refine this in okay. a later date. So, Stinky Lou. Thanks. This is Stinky Lou. <clears throat> If you have B.O. and you need a helping hand Get your phone and call this girl, she'll understand Don't worry, cause here comes Stinky Lou The crop dusting queen of stink, it's Stinky Lou Stinky Lou, Stinky Lou, she stinks up all the land Any odour you might smell is by her hand Block your nose, cause here comes Stinky Lou Deodorise, cause here comes good old Stinky Lou <laughs> She stinks the house, she stinks the car, she stinks the bloody street Only thing comparable would be Shrek's feet <laughs> Please worry, cause here comes Stinky Lou Smelling like dingo shit, that's Stinky Lou <laughs> the, fl- the flowers drink <laughs> The flowers droop, the children cry as Stinky Lou walks by. <laughs> you see her trail of carnage as all plant life dies. <laughs> don't think small marsupials don't die too. Blame the extinction of the bilby on Stinky Lou. <laughs> That's very good. Thanks, mate. I just was laying down yesterday. <laughs> so I thought I'd write Stinky oh, Lou. Oh, we've got to do a video clip. <laughs> oh, we we have, have to do a video clip. Because I really want to see. We've got to do a video clip of Stinky I want to see Lou. some, like, CGI of your trail of carnage as you walk down the street and all plant life is dying behind you. And then little marsupials are also dying because of your, your stink. This is the worst, worst nickname we've ever, <laughs> ever come up with. Like, literally the other day I, like, woke up one morning and on, like, four random photos, like, one of them was from, like, Europe, I just had, like, for bed where to just comment being, like, old Stinky Lou. <laughs> and then all over TikTok everyone's being, like, Stinky Lou. Uh, oh, yeah, I saw a full-on fight on the weekend. Two blokes punching on in traffic. I don't know why I'm smiling. I'm not, I'm not meaning to smile. It's not it was funny, fucking hilarious. But I know what road rage is like. This was since I've got Alfonso. This was post pink concert road rage. The amount of bedwetters who were tagging me in Pink's stories, sorry, Pink's posts, being like, "Watch out, Lou, she's at Bills in Bondi." Well, I'm like, "Hey, guys, I don't want Pink to know <laughs> I dislike her acrobatic show." Yeah, well, these blokes clearly didn't love Pink's acrobatic show because were the kids in the back. Well, so we were, let me just, let me spin it quickly. We were leaving my little brother's bucks, going off the boat, heading back to the Nelson and Bonner Junction, right? Mm -hmm. And I was telling the boys before, so we're all in this maxi taxi and they're all of us in the back, the old man's in the front, fucking, and we're all just yarning, blah, blah, blah. Like Nelson Bonner Junction, mate, yeah, no worries. Dad's in the front of the taxi. Did your dad get wasted at the bucks? Yeah, he had a bit on. Fucking... (laughs) <laughs> fucking um, this taxi driver could obviously just smell the fucking gum leaves on him, and without me realising, this cunt's just taken us the most roguest way, right? Really rogue way. 
And I sort of come to her and I'm like, where the fuck are, where the fuck are we here? Like, what the fuck? And I'm like, oh, this guy has clearly taken us on a ride because... He knows you're Dad's wasted. going, yeah, mate, I'm bad, but from the bush and we're buddy here for the weekend. And he's going, you beauty. Anyway, I'm like, mate, where the fuck? Anyway, he takes down the Eastern Distributor or whatever it is and then comes up outside of Allianz Stadium. To get to the Nelson? Yeah. You've and gone I, to bloody Timbuktu. But also Pink's just finished. Oh. It was standstill. Was it at Allianz? Yep. The acrobatic show? Yeah, it's a big fucking stadium. Huh. Anyway, so standstill traffic. And I've gone, he's, God, and I've gone, he's fucking done this. Like, what an idiot. Anyway, so I go, mate, uh, we'll be getting out here. Thank you. And I was like, let's just walk up to the Olympic, have a couple of scoops there, wait till this dies down, then we'll head to the Nelson. So we, we get out of the cab. And uh, we're walking up the street. Anyway, there's this, um, we can hear a bit of yelling. There's, there are people streaming everywhere, walking along the road, mm. along the sides of the road, cops. Like, it's just finished. Fucking, um, anyway, see these two blokes yelling. One big guy, one little little fella and his girlfriend. And the, um, they're just yelling, oh, you fucking idiot, blah, 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 you fucking dickhead. Anyway, the little guy just goes, fuck him cracks the big fella and the big fella just starts laying into the little fella and then the girlfriend of the little fella starts laying into the big fella so she's into it they're both into it two on one you know on this big guy like full stink and we're just like watching and i'm just like we were just pissing ourselves we're like holy shit like hilarious that there's post pink rage, rage and they just full full on stink blah 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 and uh anyway bunch of blokes run in and sort of stop it or whatever and she was all good to go. That's terrifying. No, it was hilarious. It does feel like something that would happen after a... P- oh, I shouldn't say any more about pink. No, tell us what you think. No, I was just... No, gonna, don't explain it. No. Well, I had a friend who went to the pink concert and said that 55% of the time she was in the air. She literally was just going... 55? Yeah. 55% of the time she was acrobatically flying around the arena. It's a very specific number, isn't it? Well, she is a maths girl. Right. So, is she? you know, if, if I was to say that, I'd probably say 50%. Yeah. She's 55 because she's, 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 she's a maths girl. A, yeah, okay, maths She girl. likes spreadsheets. She likes calculators. Yeah. She likes abacus. She likes Pythagoras. Pythagoras? Yep. She, lo- she loves Pythagoras, Willie. Yep. If you, it's is it Pythagoras theorem? Yep. She likes acute angles. That's what she likes. She's a maths girl. <laughs> she's a maths girl. She's she, she a sounds like girl. she sounds like an an uh, acute angel. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pythagoras. It's, yeah, it's that's Pythagoras, what I said. It was Pythagoras. a f- Freudian slip of the tongue. What is a Freudian slip? A maths term. <laughs> now, nah, what actually? What is it? I don't fucking know. Sigmund Freud. What is it, Willie? Hey, everyone just wondering, Willie's the new deal or if they're yeah, yeah. I believe a Freudian deal. slip is when you so you say something wrong, say something. That's oh, like when slip of the George tongue. Bush said Something the Iraq really thing. Mean, but yeah. you don't mean to say That's it. exactly what it slip is. Slip of the tongue. I am a Freudian. I'm a walking Freudian slip. Don't you reckon? I always say things that I don't, shouldn't say. Yeah, no, you're just subintelligent. You're being <laughs> very cruel today. So I've the definition tough... is an unintentional error regarding as revealing subconscious feelings. So you say what you really feel when you don't mean to. Oh, that's me. And also, I've had a lot of intrusive thoughts lately that I've nearly done things that I shouldn't do. Like I saw a man eating a, a sandwich the other day and I, I was this close to taking a bite. Lou, miss me with that shit. No, I... But, Louisa. I was in... honestly... I, the, the, the intrusive thought nearly came over me that I was just going to... I just wanted to have a bite. Louisa, stop talking shit. Uh, Jack. If you think for one second you're going to convince us that you were going to take a bite. I nearly did. Louisa. I nearly can, did. I was this close. And can, then my brain went, don't do it. That's not your sandwich. Not only are you lying to us, but you're I'm lying not, to yourself. You're lying to yourself, Louisa. No, no, no. No. No, Jack. No. You know what? I can't do anything right this podcast. I, how long have we been going for, Willie? No. No, no, I'm, I'm. I what? think that's. Well, I think that's time. No, because we got in trouble the other day because we were when we were flying down to um, Sydney from Yamba. Will said, 
we uh, he goes, mate, I put on your podcast to listen to it for the flight. He said it went for 32 minutes and I said, excuse me? He goes, it was a 32-minute podcast and I'm like, holy fuck, we fucked up. 32 minutes? Yeah. yeah, there was some heat in the YouTube comments as well about that. Bad, 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 bad. How did we only talk for 32? I think uh, daddy, I'm daddy by the way, was a little hung puppy. And I think um, we, we've... We had something we needed to go to, and unfortunately, that that ru- that that fucked mm-hmm. us. So, Bedwet is actually. I'm, I'm, so we're going to formally apologise for that. So, I've been getting all the heat today when it should be you. I think we both deserve a sufficient amount of heat for that. I think you can take that one, champion. I think you had like Pilates or something you had to go to, and so we had to cut it short. Oh, cares more about leaving Pilates early than the bedwet. Or did someone have a drinking holiday that that, da- holiday. that daddy needed to go to? A yeah, dr- and I'm not sure if you know who daddy is, but I can clarify if you'd like. I, I'd really appreciate some clarification. Your daddy, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, mummy. Just for those who didn't get that, loose mummy, by the way. Mm. And so yeah, but I, we we fucked up. Not good enough. Well, I, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to say you fucked up. Because I wasn't part of the 32. Yes, you were. Well, I was part of it, but it was your idea. No, I wanted to go for longer. You had to leave. Remember? Oh, fuck off. Remember that? D- this is, you know what this is? This is an attack of me today. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Don't you agree, Willie? It's been just an attack. It has a little bit. Yeah. I do apologise, Lulu. It's just been an attack. It would be like if, if you guys were geese. You're attacking me trying to break my legs with your wings. <laughs> It's what you've been doing this entire podcast. I just you know what I'll say. Bring back Dior. Whoa! Yep. yep. I'd like both of you to leave, and I'd like Dior to come back. Willie. Yep. Day one. She doesn't mean that. I'm gonna allow that. Mean that? She's hungover and sad about. Yeah, she's hungover. She's missing TDD. TDD comes on Friday. Yeah, he does. Oh, Jack, you've got to stop with the innuendos and the Freudian slips. And the acute angles. Ill Freudian slip into your end, though, if you know what I mean. That's Jack, that enough. <laughs> hey, wait, where's our TV? We're getting a new set, you fucking idiot. Where do you think everything's gone? To the new set. Yeah, bad weather's well, exciting stuff. New set coming. Yeah, for the 32 minute eps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're dialing them down to 15. We thought yeah. sharp sheep, snackable content. We thought, you know what? Let's sharp just do sheep. nice nine minutes. Yeah. Nine minute eps. I just think like some Quick, of you can. nice minutes. Snackable. Quick, fun. Snackable eps. Snaps. We love snaps. Red light, green light. Stinky low edition. <laughs> no, I'm not getting on this bad. Yeah, you are. You're so. already on it. Uh, okay, red light, green light. Waking someone up on the plane to go pee. So, like, say you're in the middle seat oh, and someone's got a pee. I really struggle. And it's, the person on the ends. It, it's a green, but it's uh, uh, it's a last resort for me. For an hour-long flight? That's crook. Should have done your business pre-flight. What if you did your business and you still needed a pee? How? I got a weak bladder. So, you woke someone up. What? Where were your window seat? On the way to Melbourne, I was in the middle. He was on the side. He looked like he was having a phenomenal snooze, Oh, judge. you fuckhead. Like, he was, like, hands down, like, just... And I just looked at him for about four or five minutes, just staring at him. People would have thought I was an absolute creep, and I was going to my head, can you hold on to pee? Can you do it, Louisa? Could you have done it? Realistically, unbiased. I honestly don't think I could have. I genuinely don't think I could have. So I went like this. I gave him a little tap. He didn't, he didn't flinch. So I went, okay, just leave it for a bit. I gave him another little... Like almost like a little wriggle, you know, like finger sort of rub. Ugh, oh. Sorry, <laughs> you know what I mean—a tappy Christ. rub, a tapping rub. Ugh, even yeah, worse. A tub. And then I just went. And I think I went. It was either the second or the third tap that he woke up. But I think the se- third tap, I went a bit harder. I went. And he, and he went. Oh, and I went. Sorry, I really need to pee. He was like, oh. And then he moved out. You know, woke up from his sleep. I peed. Uh, and I, okay, look. To be fair. You probably could have hold, held it. To be also fair, it's an hour flight. You know, you haven't fucked up a five-hour flight sleep. Yes, but I, I'm not a sleeper, and I fell asleep on my flight this morning, Melbourne to Sydney. And if someone had woke me up in that wonderful sleep, because I don't sleep, if someone had woke me up in that, 
I would have been swinging punches. Yeah, but it's lose world and we're just living it. So Has it been 32 minutes well, yet? Well, no, hold on. Have we got enough for a nine-minute snackable content? Because I'd like to fuck off. Well, Lou, run me through this. Why are you allowed to wake him up and they're not allowed to wake you up? No, he's allowed to wake me up. I'm Correct. just saying. Correct, you'd be fuming. Today, so it's a red light. out of all days today, if someone had woke me up, I would have been mad. I'd never fall asleep. Neither. So there you go. Like so, I said, I just wish that we didn't have to sleep and the whole world was awake 24-7. Well, I truly am glad that we can shut off. I'm not. She's not happy with me. Red light, green light, folding toilet paper, not scrunching it. Scrunch. Red. Just scrunch it. Willie? I'm definitely a fold guy. Fuck! That be me. Well, this is me. obviously when you guys are taking a poo. N- yeah. All of us. No, but... Uh, like together. No, but... For girls, you because you, you just drip dry, don't you? Sorry, I just did a little shimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we shake. To drip. Shake dry. Shake dry. Shake it off. Sh- Ooh, I'll do that hand gesture. Taylor Pierce. <laughs> shake it off. Uh, well, I was more thinking, shake, 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 sh- shake it. I think that was Metro Club. Not sure. Metro Station. I just think tr- scrunching. Yeah. Safer. Folding, how it many, sounds like you could slip a ditch. How many pieces? I feel like scrunching is more dangerous because you run the risk of leaving a gap or a hole. <laughs> if you fold, so how do you do it? So and how many fold, fold like, it? Make sure you get one and then, I don't know, try and spread it out and just do a couple of layers. <laughs> is it? So you're only doing like three. Because when I'm scrunching, I'm grabbing like at least eight. Oh, no, I'll grab at least yeah. eight, possibly more. Because yeah. I, don't, I don't want any shit streaks on my hand. <laughs> Oh, see, that's the difference really. between you and me. I do. Uh, and you leave them on there for the rest of the day. Yeah, correct. I'm stinky. I'm stinky. You stinky judge. Um, no, I. That's the name of the podcast. Stinky judge. D- Willie. Don't try. Stinky judge. Well, we'll make up a song about stinky judge then. Old stinky judge. He doesn't fold his scrunches, and when he scrunches, he makes sure there's holes so he can get some Not poop on his fingers let's maybe and we'll, streaks. Let's give you some time. Let's give no, you some time I to come. I feel like that was fine for me to keep Nothing going. rhymed. Well, we got a good Rhyme nine it. minute snackable content app for this one. <laughs> My turn? Yeah. Old stinky... <laughs> No, <laughs> it's not getting in my head. Oh, stinky loop. No. Stinky loop. Before Hello, no. stinky loop. Before Hello Sport the other day, Eddie was singing it. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. It is catchy. You know, actually, why have I not told you this? I went, when I was in Melbourne, I called up with Tony, who does the podcast, Tony and Ryan, and they are in a studio at the moment with um, Dill, who does. D- I think it's called Dylan Bill Barkley. Free. Yeah, Dylan Free. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he comes over, we were having coffee, and he was like, holy fuck, I was pissing myself at Stinky Lou. <laughs> and then I went into their studios <laughs> to have a look around, and then one, like, <sighs> he was like, oh, that's Stinky Lou. Or like, said something like that. I was like, great. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Dude, you know what? You need to come back with, you've got to come back with Stinky Judge. You've got to make up yeah, a song. Yeah, I'll make a song for you. Maybe a different tune? Um, no, I, I'll do what I want. Okay. Thanks. Ride my coattails, that's fine. Oh, no, fine. I'll make it a rap version. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we're cooking. Oh, hopefully yeah. Not, hopefully it's not stinky, stinky loose gas. Red light, green light. Liking your own photo from a podcast page you run. Liking my... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do that. Same. But I, I also think I've grilled you about that. I commented... No. On- yeah, so... No, yeah, I will do it. If I've posted a video oh. and I'm on our We Mean Well page, I'll yeah. like it from What's our that? We Mean Well page. But I don't like my own videos on my page. Oh, no, I'm yeah. talking from We Mean Well to Louisa Delden. Yeah, oh, yeah. great. I even commented one from you. <laughs> from me? I said, you're the best surfer in the East from Jack. <laughs> I wonder if anyone... Saw through that. Sounds authentic. Yeah. From the from the We Mean Well page. From Jack. <laughs> from Jack. From Jack. Yeah, from Jack. <coughs> and then, do you want to hear a comment that I got yesterday? That's I funny. screenshot it for you guys, actually. Yes, please. thought it was something that you might enjoy. <clears throat> oh, fuck, that's funny. So this um, was on Instagram last night. This is when I grinded on Dior for his last day. Lou grinding was a tough wank, but I got it done. And then another guy goes, <laughs> at Jakey, I'm still going. Any tips on how to finish? 
It was, it, honestly, that was a challenging wank. Uh, red light, green light. Yeah. People who put too much emphasis on their morning coffee. Red. Oh, my God. I'm so fucking tired. Sorry, I have not had my coffee. Yeah. Oh, cappuccino. Is that what I... A nice cappuccino. <laughs> is that what I heard? Unless you're... Unless you're Kevin Ferguson Smith. Unless you're Kevin Ferguson Smith. <laughs> And you're having a nice piece of mud cake and a cup of chain. No, you're not allowed to do it. It's, it's just, to me, it's uh, look. No offense, actually, fuck it. I, you can offend anyone anyway. It tends to be people that lack a certain element of personality that put so much emphasis into being coffee. Well, it's people. like you can't spell morning. Cool nails. Thanks. First nice thing you Sorry. said in about seven years, but all good. Yep. Um, it's people who are like, <laughs> you can't spell morning without coffee. Yeah. Blech. Like, fuck me. Sweet. Coffee o'clock? <laughs> oh, I can't leave the house with my hot girl out without a coffee. It's like they'll get. Oh, my God, where's my cappuccino? We all love a coffee. Yeah. We all love a cough. Everyone loves a cough. All right. I love a cough. Kevin loves, loves a, a cough. cough. Willie really loves a cough. But you love a cough. You know what I mean? You're like Oprah. You get a coffee. You get a you coffee. Get a coffee. <laughs> you get a coffee. <laughs> but the fucking, it's like, no, I just can't function. No, I that. can't. I can't do it. Miss me with that shit. Oh, my God. 9 a.m. meeting. Oh, did I hear three coffees? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hotline. All right. Give us a little hotline jingle, please. It's hotline time with Stinky Lou and Stinky Jack. <laughs> I love how you're trying to drag me into the stinky oh, category. No. It's, it's working. I don't know if I it is. I can feel the studio is on board with me. All right. Hotline time. Cool. Perfect. Good loading. Hello, senorita. Fuck it. I wasn't drinking tonight, but I realise I'll be missing the all like a motherfucker. Also, um, just a quick cue. Um, not even a cue. It's a fucking quick quick. Quick statement. Oh, yeah, we are. Um, your fucking voicemail message didn't fucking work. Yeah, damn cunt. Love you both so fucking much. Oh. <laughs> Did it not work? I thought we uploaded a new voice memo. Also, for a man... We may not have done it yet. I can't. Hey. Well, Dior guys and this thing uh, falls to fucking pages. One. Well, hey. Fair income. Uh, for a man that said that he wasn't drinking tonight... Daddy sounded pretty drunk. But, and he's daddy, by the way. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying That's that. my pleasure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, g'day, guys. Love the potty. I'm um, calling, actually, from <clears throat> from the UK. Fuck. Uh, I actually paid extra money for this call. Uh, just so I can call you guys. Let's just say, I think I like this little life. Anyway, love ya. Um, Jaji, you're a good count. <laughs> Lou, you're also a pretty good cunt. Um, I think you could probably sing a little bit more, though, Lou. Just don't be shy. I agree. You just use your voice, project it, you know what I'm saying? I think you're just kind of holding back. Mm -hmm. Anyway, love you. Bye-bye. Love you, mate. He's right. He? I think I like this little lap. I might do my Stinky Jack song to that. I think I like Stinky Little Jack. Okay. Yeah, see, now we're being creative. Mm -hmm. Uh... I disagree on the singing, mate, but fucking... Hey, say la vie, each to their own, as Seinfeld would say. Yeah, what would Jerry say? Jerry would say... What's the deal with Lou singing? Yep. That's, that's what he'd say. That's exactly what I was going to say. Good. G'day, Lou, you eight-year-old fat fuck. And Dutch, <laughs> when I was sick, I... So Reese can't even hear what I'm saying, so hi, Reese. Dutch, you sick cunt, how's it going? we got to keep it under 45 seconds of time. Uh. Uh, we're at the SB, which sits on the... Roho! Fuck Sydney! Fuck all those cunts! Melbourne is so superior. We fucking love you. Keep pissing! Fucking yeah! Goodbye. Oh. I nearly went to the SB. <laughs> Did I you? I was in Melbourne, could have seen them, but I went to Public House instead, this rooftop bar. How was that? Really fun. And then some of our friends from Sydney, Seamus and Alicia, were in Melbourne as well. They're dangerous news. Are they? With well, a name like Seamus. Seamus is a great name. No, it's a, it, uh, but oh. Seamus to me is a big drinker. 
Oh, he's a huge drinker. Yeah. I, I, so is Alicia. Irish. They're hilarious. Good, great couple. Can't get Alicia on her. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a real shameless that we can't. <laughs> now. Very good. <laughs> very good. Hey, motherfuckers. <laughs> I was just listening to the last podcast and I'm very sad that our little Prince Dior is leaving. Mm. So in honour of Prince Dior leaving, I'm just going to... <laughs> I don't even want to tell you. <laughs> She's drinking. That's a big drink. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Prince Dior. That's we a love you. Big drink for Dior. And just what a lovely drink for Dior. Was that Sprite, do you think? <laughs> Probably Gatorade. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, give me one more. All right, one more. Uh, let's see what we're doing here. Here we go. Justin, Stinky Lou, <laughs> your bedwetting sons of bitches, <laughs> fucking, uh, got that tattoo for you, eh, that little home job, that's all, shut up, Louisa, hey, oh. hey, Ro. hey, Ro in the zoo, zoo. I want to see the home tattoo, it better be Kevin in the helicopter, someone's got to get Kevin in the helicopter, Come on, someone will be covered in tats and go, fuck it. Just Kev- a little baby one. Kevin in the co- copter. Yeah, it's got to be done. Any bedwetters who want it done, DM me. Well, you didn't get your fill from Beck. She got Toby's dead on her. Oh, I'm so happy with Beck having that, but it would be nice to have Kevin in the helicopter. Yeah, Kevin in the copter. Or some, we could do karate. Remember I did karate Kevin before? What about a little karate Kevin tattoo? Or you standing there, someone behind you going like this. <laughs> Like putting their hand over their nose, and you have stink lines all over. Oh, if out of you. someone <laughs> got a stinky little no, no, t- no, we cannot push out that with us. All right. Okay, we love you guys. Also, thank you for everyone who bought the merch, and we hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day because it's tomorrow. Make sure you tell your loved ones that you love them so much, and it's Valentine's Day. Well, Valentine's Day. Day would be today. Sorry, Valentine's Day is today. Make sure you tell your loved ones you love them, and you want to give them a big kiss, and you want to give them a big spoon, and mwah, mwah, mwah. and hopefully, yes, people get wristies. Yep. Maybe some flowers, maybe some heart-shaped chockies. Yep. Maybe something else. Anal. All right, way to bring the podcast down. One more time. Okay. Well, we love you guys. And you know what they say about Valentine's Day? If you can't love, then you... Get... (laughs) Okay, I'll see you later. Hooroo.